And a beautiful delivery beats everything, bat and wicketkeeper, and it's going to go for four byes. Quicker one, well bowled. 95 overs have gone. It's 3-3-3 three, three, three for seven. Cut beautifully. What a stroke for a man who's new at the crease. This was incredible. It really wasn't that wide. The most disheartening sight for Fidel Edwards. It's a no ball. It's the perfectly pitched out swinging Yorker. But he overstepped the line. That is heartbreaking for the bowler. Oh, he's punched that. That's going to be four. That is nicely played again. Just wide of the man at, at mid off. But the timing again is really perfect. Everybody celebrates because that's Jack Callis's 50. 71 deliveries, 102 minutes. And really has had a tremendous series so far, Jack Callis. This is Jack Callis. Now he's going to take advantage of anything like that because that was a long hop. He didn't hit it the way he expected. Maybe just the bottom part of the bat, but another four for Jack Callis. This is exactly what Brian O'Leary does not want. Good delivery. Well played. Just pushed his hands out. Claws as the South Africans reach 400. Good bit of cricket all round. Well, that was a gift. It was a full toss on off stamp. Mark Thatcher pounced on it. Could trot down the ground, uh, it's cashing in, get a full toss. You still got to hit it for four. And... and this time, it's one of the shots that he will remember for a long time. Down on one knee, magnificent cover drive. Four runs all the way. And at the same time, Harold Harper signal, signals the end of the over. It's 417. Pushes it into the gap and gets there. Looking for two. A tackle for one. And acknowledges first his teammates, and then the crowd. Excellent 50. His 17th in test matches in the South Africans. 419 for seven. Could be more runs. It'll be four of them. So vouchers dealing in boundaries. Beautifully cut away. Don't need to run for that one. A superb stroke. Last ball on the 127th over. It's 453 for seven. Good delivery. Cut back fast. And he's been given out. Well, this was a bit of a surprise. Jacques Callis is obviously not happy. It cut back very sharply. And just as we were starting to talk about him thinking of a century, the West Indies have struck. Oh, a little bit tight, perhaps Jack Ellis. That's why he put very close and happy. Pretty straight. He left to see a different angle from that. That's why I guess Callis is not happy. Which put it Jason from front of, but him Chen Hoka, I suggest he would have climbed over the stumps. That's why Callis is not happy. Jock Callas goes, LBW Sanford for 73, the South Africans are 461 for 8. That's nicely glided down the third man, he might not get one, he get four. It's a wide open space, that's the man at backward point, so Mark Boucher now moves on to the ninth, he's 9 to 1, South Africa 479 for 8. Now he slaps that over mid on, very whitish mid on, it's going to go down to the ground really, way behind. It's just going to get there, so it gets only two. It doesn't get into the boundary. So now, our voucher moves to 99. He drives that to mid-wicket, and he starts celebrating immediately because the man of mid-wicket just couldn't stop. It goes into the boundary now. Darren Harper signals four, and our voucher celebrates this fourth test century. He signals the entire crowd here at the Newlands and why not? He's played a tremendously courageous move here. He and Jack Callis had a good partnership. And now he's moved on to 100 in his teammates celebrate. And I think Mark Boucher deserves all the praise. 17 fours, no 16. Just 151 deliveries. Now 
This one is going to go right on the hour, coming to possession. Maybe that's why Dave Mohammed has decided not to fight anymore. Because once Makai and Tilly takes out the long handle, it's long. Well, he didn't hit this so well. He's got everything onto it. Right up there, Dave Mohammed is throwing it up to the Thailander. Hey, George. And that matches Neil McKenzie's shot yesterday. About to sweep, he gets it down to five leg, and that's 500 for South Africa. 503 for eight now. Led by a signal by a fire. Just like that. And he's given it. The finger's gone up. Not sure why. Sitting here, my first impression is it might have been you know, a bit of a distance from the bat, but Maya Bengat is in a better position. He's the one turning away from the bat, as we said, he's just turned away a little bit. Very, very difficult to tell, to tell there. And the reaction of, of Intini certainly suggested that he didn't touch it. They all look very confident behind the wicket, and uh, whether you like it or not, or well, Mackay and T likes or not, he's out, caught the arm for 18, South Africa 513 for 9. They've said he gets four. So that's just as good for South Africa. Well, there seems to be an edge. The Venkat has... Well, I haven't seen the finger of Venkat go up, but Mel didn't want to leave his crease, but he's out. There's no doubt about that. All the players are heading towards the pavilion. Adam Sanford has uh, four wickets. Congratulations to Mark Boucher from his partner Mel and all the other fielders. Yeah, just a good length delivery, and this is the delivery we were asking Fiddle Edwards to bowl. And uh, tail ender couldn't resist having a swing over the top, and he's obviously got a faint neck through, straight through to the keeper. James hasn't made a mistake, so Nell out for four, South Africa 532 all out. To the start today, 122 not out. Uh, Jacques Callas also got to, played very well for his 73. Tini weighed in with 18. So a long 145 overs for West Indies in the field. South Africa 532 all out. Maybe a few more than they would have expected. Bowling figures from the West Indies. They all toiled hard, I thought Edwards did well. Sanford finished up with four for 132, Mohammed three as well. Uh, but all in all, they toiled hard for the for the entire inning.